Hey, what's up? <laughs> Emmanuel. Emmanuel is just um I'm I'm just nothing but pencil in the hand of the creator. <laughs> My name is Emmanuel Makolia Femike. I am a Nigerian, first of all. I I was born in Abia State, grew up in Mina Kaduna, respectively, state of Beaten Abuja. I'm from Edo State and I'm currently based in Lagos, Nigeria. So I am a full-fledged Nigerian. It has been interesting. It has been a it has been a learning curve, really. Uh, I consider every stage as one that I just needed to learn a few things, right? N needed to make some things right. But it has been it has been one that I have constantly learned uh, from being a stage actor to recording engineer right uh, to recording gospel rap artist to a graphics designer video editor right all of that uh, and currently a voiceover artist which um here i think this is where where i'm supposed to be to a very large extent um and it's been exciting it's been it's been a journey and i'm grateful for every every step yeah What do I do? Hmm. Easy, I think. I think bringing life to written texts or written scripts or copies. I think. I think that's really it, right? Um, every word that is written is just they're just words or sentences. But as a voiceover artist, when you look at words and sentences that are written, they are attached with emotions or they are laced with expressions and emotions and. The work of every every professional voice actor out there is to interpret, you know, bring life into that script so that people can listen and they can feel the impact of what the script is trying to say or that story or that idea or that business, you know, so that's the work. My journey, um, yeah, it's been fun. It was fun. It's been fun. It is still going to be fun, right? Uh, but it has been a learning curve. I remember how I started. Um, I started because my friend Walia Desoya felt I could be a voiceover artist, right? He felt that, ah, the way you speak, you can do voiceover. I entirely didn't know what voiceovers were. Um, so when he said that, I started like paying attention to voiceovers, listening to them and also finding out more about voiceovers because there was there was no voiceover training outlet or outfit organization at the time and i just continued like that and he would give me scripts to record sometimes and maybe some jobs will come some friends will come you know i just i just wanted to i just wanted to do more with my voice i i'd always love to use my voice right so yeah that was how i started Mm. <laughs> I would say I don't, I don't know if it's if it's specific, but but how, I'll say it like this: looking at people that I train becoming better versions of themselves, making money, becoming relevant in the industry, finding their path. You know, I think I think that's that's like one of the most exciting things, <laughs> right? Uh, it, it's always it's always pleasing to get a call oh, kingy i just got this job you know you know someone that couldn't probably afford paying for the training as i when they came and they were talking to you and then they are they're getting jobs of hundreds of thousands and stuff like that you know i think i think each it's it's a continuous thing it's not even something that started and stopped and every day that just excites me and and uh, it's it's beautiful to see or to hear every time I, I don't know the specific number, but but a couple of hundreds, uh, not not a lot, because we are going we are going places. But of course, there's there's the voiceover conference that 
you know, reaches out to a lot more people aside the training and all that. Uh, so. Ah, what exactly do I do? I train people. <laughs> but really, um, I think a, a lot of the time when people hear voiceover, there's a, there's a misconception. I think one of the first things I try to drive out, um, drive at is changing the mindset of the people who come into the voiceover space as to what voiceovers are or what, what the term voiceover is, you know, in its entirety. Uh, because when you hear voiceover, one of the things you think about is, oh, those guys really do commercial and all of those things, you know. But there are different genres of voiceovers. There's animation, there's audiobook, there's IVR, there's ADR, you know, there's movie trailers. All of that, of course, there's commercials and jingles, right? And these parts are different from what a lot of people see. And sometimes you won't hear my voice on radio, but I'm probably doing an audiobook or I'm doing a corporate narration for a company. And you don't even, you've never heard, even me, I won't hear the work after I've, I've delivered it, right? But I'm making money, okay? But the, the drive for training really is to, you know, change that mindset and also tell people that, see, it is not just about you recording scripts. Voiceover, what I'm doing now, I'm probably applying my voiceover ability, how I speak and all of that, right? Um, I'm doing it effortlessly because I've done voiceovers enough to understand that there's a way you will use your voice and it becomes, you know, some people want to listen to it right and there's 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 if you understand your voice enough you know when you need to apply this particular range this particular depth this particular character right and it it's all it's all interesting and fun and you realizing a new side of yourself and the possibilities that you have even as a voiceover artist i think is just part of the things that we we train people to to understand understand how to interpret characters understand the different genres understand the terminologies in voiceover and understand that this is about expression this is about bringing emotions into what you're doing and of course that you can market you can sell your voice you can make money which is you know an, an ultimate thing for me that people can use their voices to make money and become relevant you know to to themselves family and society at large and I think um, there's there's more to what we do, you know, as it concerns training than just training people to voice scripts. What keeps me going? <laughs> what keeps me going? I've also in life. And I understand what it means to hustle. And to be broke and to know how. You know. Um, I think it's part of what keeps me going, but, but generally aside that I am a family man. Okay. And I think because of my experience every day, one thing that I try to not do is stop because I know that if I stop, it's going to affect my children and my family. And because of that, I do not, it doesn't matter what anyone is saying. We keep going. We're in Nigeria. We're in Nigeria. We keep moving. Things must happen. We keep moving. I understand. And I'm also driven by the need to touch, to give back to, to, cause, cause my entire life is about people giving, giving to me and supporting me. And I felt that with what I have, you know, the little that I have voiceover, we give back. So that's, those are the things that keep me going. So thank you. Now, if you, if you've spoken to, I mean, if you, if you, if you grew up at all, you would have, you know, come in contact with animation, you know, cartoons and all, right? There's a, there's a whole industry that, that does animation and it's a massive, massive industry globally, right? Uh, it's just that in that global estimate, as it were, uh, Africa is, uh, Africa was not at some point in, in uh, you know, was not part of the equation because we had nothing entirely coming from Africa as it concerns animation, right? Um, in Nigeria, the voiceover space or industry has been for quite some time. It's just that uh, we are still, we are still trying to grow. Okay, when I started there, there was, there was, there was an industry, there was a body. It's just that it was, there was no, there were no structures. It wasn't as serious as maybe it should be. 
you know, which is which is okay, right? We all those are gone now. We are, we're looking into the future. Uh, but what we have been trying to do is first train, and that training changes your mindset, changes your perspective or what you think about voiceover, and understand the profession as it were, understand what you carry and your, the ability and what you should look out for for either script or yourself personally, all right? And also open your mind to seeing that there's more to voiceover than what you think. Now, after that, one of the other things we, we put together is the voiceover conference. And the voiceover conference brings professionals, business owners in the media space, even animators, voiceover artists from across the world to connect, learn, grow, you know, and of course, by doing that, we can bring structure into the industry. We can make the industry a bit more popular, make the industry a bit more attractive. And for me, the, the entire idea is to change the industry as it were, leave the industry better than how I met it. And also give younger people another reason to wake up every day, give them hope that you have a voice. And that voice can help you become a better person. You understand? We we talk about unemployment. We talk about, you know, young people getting into Yahoo Yahoo and all that cyber crime and stuff. You know, um, I have trained and worked with a lot of young people. And one thing I know is that when you you know that you have a voice and that voice has the tendency to bring you money, you won't think of doing Yahoo Yahoo you think of wanting to work to become better and that's that's part of what we were trying to do not just an event the voiceover conference is not just an event it is one that that is set out to impact lives to change the mindset of a lot of people who or anyone who is interested to using their voices to do something that is that will become relevant to them and also to to grow an industry that is sleeping we have the population we have amazing talents we have individuals who know how to write stories we have animators yes the industry is not is not known is not as popular as we want it to be and because of that we don't get a lot of people who want to invest and you cannot blame investors or anybody who wants to drop money because the industry is nowhere. So we're trying to put the industry in a, on a pedestal that it's, it's become interesting. It becomes one that people or organizations or, you know, investors are willing to say, OK, you're doing this thing. Let's put in money into that, you know, to create employment, you know, for a lot of young people and so much more. There's there's just a lot that can be done but, but from our little corner we're contributing the most that we can and doing and doing that with um, a lot of support from friends and families and all yeah yes the the voiceover conference uh it's been it's been an interesting journey right uh 5.0 we're working towards it for 25th and 26th of june uh, 26th at oriental hotel Victor island i i am excited about what's going on right the conference the idea for this year we are we're daring see dare the audacity to break new grounds right and we are bringing everybody because my vision for for the voiceover conference is that voiceover event where everybody no matter where you are in the world you want to come back home Right, as a voiceover actor, you want to come back and connect and learn and grow and meet your fellow professionals, you know. Um, but but this year, this year is quite interesting because we, we are getting some people interested in what we're doing. We have our our keynote speaker. I mean, we, we had a meeting with him, um Adigbuega Akosile, you know, uh, the the uh, essay. To the governor on media and publicity as a you know and we have, we have a whole lot of global entrepreneurs or global voice voice actors voice talents and even in nigeria amazing amazing you know and and we are all excited you can you can feel it yeah you can feel it i'm, I'm excited about it i'm telling you <laughs> but but um the uh, the reason we're doing the conference really is to to of course amplify 
the reason we exist as voiceover workshop and media to contribute our quota to the industry to the society as it were and also grow an industry that can outlive us okay and the conference is coming and you can join us really because everybody has a voice and one day you may just need to use your voice whether you're not whether you're recording you know in a studio or you're in front of an audience it really doesn't matter yeah voiceover can expose you enough to give you that confidence to say what you want to say how you want to say it when you want to say it and you know to god be the glory <laughs>